I see Bunny Butt. Oh, there she is. Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. Hey, if you're like me, when I first got Thanos, I thought that I did quite a bit of research on what she should be eating. But then when I went into the pet stores, it is extremely confusing with all of the items that are labeled rabbit safe. And so I did some more research with somebody from a rabbit rescue, as well as talking to my rabbit savvy vet and came up with a good diet program for Thanos for every day and wanted to share that with any of you that might be struggling on what's a good diet for my rabbit. So one of the things that I want to talk about is pellets because some people are under the misconception that pellets should be the mainstay of your diet, your bunny's diet and it should not. Your bunny should have a very high quality pellet and it should only have, your bunny should only have a quarter a cup of pellets per six pounds of body weight per day. So if you're feeding your bunny twice a day, that's, that's only an eighth of a cup in the morning and an eighth of a cup at night. Or if you use it like I did, put it into a little container and use it as a treat throughout the day. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the mainstay of your bunny's diet and for bunnies that should be hay. Now, a lot of bunnies, come here, come on Dennis, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. We got a, we got a Thanos. She came in to visit for her video. Good girl. So for a lot of bunnies that are past six months of age, that should be unlimited access to Timothy hay and this your bunny should be eating a ball of hay the size of themselves every day and this will aid in their digestion it will help them from getting um, GI stasis it will keep them their teeth in proper dental order so that they have less of a chance of uh, abscess and other items but unlimited access to hay, good quality, low dust hay every day is so important. One of the other things that I want to talk about before we talk about treats is access to water. A lot of people use the water bottles for their bunny and most bunnies cannot get enough water out of those water bottles. Those are really designed for smaller animals like gerbils and hamsters, that sort of thing, even the larger water bottles. So. Uh, it's highly recommended that you put your water in a bowl. Bunnies can drink the same amount of water as a small dog per day due to their digestion of hay. So it's super important that you have that water down and available clean, fresh water for them all the time. Now, all of our bunnies love treats and we know how hard it is to say no to those little noses and those those big floppy ears but it's so important that we keep a handle on what we're giving our bunny every day in order to make sure that they maintain the best digestion possible so a lot i'll put up a list right now of bunny safe treats and show you a plate of some of the treats that i feed thanos but one thing to know Bunny should only have approximately one to two tablespoons of treats 
for six pounds of body weight every day. So we're talking a half a slice of apple for the morning and a half a slice of apple for the night or a single shredded wheat, maybe broke up and fed twice, you know, or, or you know, two, two separate treats. So when you are thinking about using treats for your bunny, it's important that you think about the amount that you're giving them for their digestive health. So that's really what I currently feed Thanos and what's been keeping her healthy and her digestion good. Give me some feedback and let me know what you thought of this video and what you're currently feeding your bunny. Thanks so much for watching.